Shankar, I'm so glad. And this is a very special session where we are having uh, those uh, passionate uh, physicians who are not just a part of an important organization, API, uh, they are also uh, contributing in important positions. And I also have the pleasure of welcoming a chairman of uh, Pari Worldwide Media as well as uh, ITV Gold, uh, who has also been a big supporter of uh, API. And API is uh, in the process of uh, working towards uh, an important annual convention, which is coming up uh, on 4th July. We'll learn more about that, uh, but let's have all of them together on the screen. Welcome. Namaste. Namaste. And uh, as uh, we go uh, one by one, uh, I would uh, actually briefly mention uh, that Dr. Uma Maheshwari Jonal Gadda, uh, she's also the first lady of uh, this important organization, and she's also chair of Women Forum. So, uh, starting with Namaskar to you, uh, Dr. Uma Maheshwari ji. Namaste. And below her in the screen, we see uh, Shamala Irami, uh, Irami ji. Um, and uh, she is internist as well as co-chair for RP Women and co-chair for Women's forum. In addition to that, she has also contributed uh, the organization in several ways. Uh, and uh, si sitting silently with everyone, Chandra Prabhudevji, uh, she is uh, also someone who has served API as president from Georgia. And then we come to Dr. Raghu Lola Bhattu. And he is board of trustee of API as well as vice chair uh, for the upcoming convention. And uh, there are some other responsibilities that you have also uh, undertaken. And now coming back to Dr. Sudhir Parikh, who is silently and uh, patiently um, joining us. And Dr. Sir, I would like to begin with you. And maybe if uh, there's something that uh, is pressing for you, and if you need to leave, uh, we'll have that uh, option for you. But uh, talk to me about how excited you feel when um, RP holds its convention, and especially this year, which is happening after COVID. So it acquires some additional significance. Uh, uh, Padmushi, Dr. Sudhir Pari. Well, I mean, <clears throat> uh, hello, dear friends. Uh, as you know, uh, I am with the API, uh, API for since its inception. And uh, I, uh, I held various, uh, several various uh, position in the national API as well as the local API founder of the Federation of the API and so forth. Uh, and I'm really excited to see that even in the COVID, my good uh, dear friend, uh, Dr. Sudhakar and his team is uh, putting together an excellent convention. And uh, I understand that convention has a great CME, great women's forum uh, program events, great celebrities are joining the women's forum uh, program, as well as there is a great, uh, uh, evening uh, entertainment, as well as a lot of uh, 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 meet and greet and social gathering uh, is going to come up in uh, Atlanta. And both uh, uh, President Dr. Sudhakar, as well as the uh, chairman of the convention, Dr. Srini, they are, the, <clears throat> they are the great organizer and I wish them all the best uh, for this upcoming convention. And I'm very uh, proud and privileged that uh, my media company and my uh, TV channel is promoting uh, this convention and putting together and conveying a message to the all of our API members uh, throughout the USA and even uh, uh, our physicians uh, uh, back home uh, in uh, in India. So I wish all, all good luck to Dr. Omaji, Dr. Raguji. Uh, Dr. Shamla ji and everyone else, uh, those who are here today and uh, wish you all the best and good luck. And uh, you can always count on me uh, personally as well as uh, uh, on my uh, peripheral com com uh, media company uh, to promote the API always and, and uh, as, as usual. Thank you. Thank wish you all much. the best. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Parikh. Yeah. I appreciate uh, the presence of Dr. Parikh. And now uh, let us learn a little bit more about this upcoming convention. And when I see Dr. Uma uh, Maheshwari uh, Jonal Gadda ji smiling, um, in spite of all the hectic schedule, which one can imagine when uh, you are referred to as first lady means Dr. Sudhakar, 
uh, must be having a grueling schedule. So talk to me about your expectations from uh, this convention, as well as um, being chair for Women's Forum. What are your thoughts? Thank you, uh, ITV Gore, for giving us this opportunity. And I want to welcome you all for 39th annual AIP convention in Atlanta. I'm Uma Maheshwari Junalagada. I'm a family physician practicing in Douglas, Georgia, and I'm the chair for the Women's Forum and also the first lady of the RP this year. And uh, women's, I'm very excited about the Women's Forum. This year, despite uh, several hurdles, Able to bring women of accomplishment within a short period of time and uh, uh, provided them with the forum where they can exchange the ideas and their uh, you know uh, experiences by attending this women's forum people uh, get the opportunity to network with this extraordinary woman and help one another success by sharing their unique experiences. So the speakers that we are going to bring uh, this year are Dr. Nahid Badelia. This is policy and research. She's a professor of neuroscience at the University of Pennsylvania, Perlman School of Medicine. Dr. Swati Kulkarni, she is a counselor general of India and uh, popular Bollywood Hindi movie actress. And if uh, I can request Shamla ji uh, to continue, and as um, you are also vice chair for uh, this women's forum, what is it that you can add Shamla ji to this, uh, as well as being co-chair for this RP convention, how challenging it has been uh, post COVID, uh, moving it from one venue to another and anything uh, that you want to share. Yeah, sure. Good evening, everybody. Thanks. Thank you for giving this opportunity to share our ideas and uh, uh, agenda with the API convention. Like you said, it was uh, two things. One is the post-COVID. Another one is change of venue last two months. So suddenly, yeah, but the experience, we did one API convention in 2019 with uh, the same team of people, Dr. Srini Gangasani, Dr. Lola Bhattu, and myself, Uma. And that gave us the confidence, even though it's a short period of time, we could do very well with the team. And Jaja is a strong team. And we are always there to help Dr. Sudhakar Jannalgadda, who is ex-president of GAPI. So we were ready and extended our hands to welcome him with the GAPI support, Dr. Chandra Patre as the GAPI president, she's also doing her annual convention with the API together. So it's a together we are more stronger and with the previous experience of two years back what we did and we bringing it forward to do the same way and much better way. Coming to the women's forum and Uma has shared with this and we have very, you know, accomplished people in different fields, starting like Dr. Swati Kulakarni, she's from a same fraternity, she's a physician. She became a consulate general and sharing a lot of experiences and the challenging things. Mainly being the women, they're doing multitasking. You know, they're, if they're academically very sound working, it's not that they have to switch the hats, they have to be moms, they have to be wives, they have to be mothers and all these things together and accomplishing all these successful stories. We are looking excited to share with them and learn from them. That is about the women's farm. And my responsibility apart from the women co-chair is the hospitality. So I would say whenever somebody comes for a go for a convention or any meeting, they look at how well they are looked after. So I'm so excited to be the hospitality team co-chair because all the people, guests will be looked after so well under our guidance. Of course, we have entertainment from Dr. Raghu Lola Bhattu's side. And we mentioned about the women's forum. We have excellent food and the hospitality to ice the cake. 
I think it's going to be very successful. We are excited, looking forward. Very Thank good. You. I, I look forward to hearing more uh, from Dr. Chandaji and Dr. Raguji. Uh, but before that, I go back to um, Padmashi Dr. Sudhi Parikh, uh, who has probably attended uh, almost all API conventions. And when we you mentioned about hospitality, uh, Dr. Parikh, any uh, thing that comes to your mind in terms of uh, the special consideration which uh, hospitality team uh, should have uh, to make it um, comfortable as well as enjoyable experience for uh, the delegates. Uh, and uh, what has been your experience in general about hospitality at the API Convention? Well, API Convention uh, hospitality team is always very welcoming, very warm. And I'm sure Atlanta team is a very experienced team. I, I had a uh, opportunity to enjoy their hospitality in 2019 uh, when uh, I think Naresh was uh, a president. And I'm sure this time the hospitality team uh, will have a, a better and greater uh, warm, warm hospitality for each and every member of the API. And I think we are looking forward to uh, come and attend the API convention. Absolutely. So there is a family sort of a feeling among physicians through API, which is great. Uh, talking about what you learn from an organization like this uh, and what is it that helps you sustain your interest in this Dr. Chandra ji, um, being president of API in Georgia and having attended several meetings, including the CME and others. So um, first, share your personal take on the importance of API for you. So uh, I'm the current GAPI president. That's the Georgia Association of Physicians of Indian Heritage. And uh, I was not very active until a few years ago. Uh, and I learned that it is a very important aspect of our life as physicians to be a part of this big group. So that we're there to support each other for everything from professional uh, growth to social growth and to have good entertainment. So I think being a member of API, GAPI first of all, and the bigger family of API has really helped me grow as a physician, grow as a person and to grow as a family because we get to meet a lot of people. We learn many things. And we just socially blossom when you're a part of this group. Absolutely. And the um, lockdown period uh, due to COVID has taught all of us that we are essentially social beings. And we feel good being in the presence of other uh, community members and organizations like API uh, not only works towards serving the community, but also in upgrading your uh, skills and knowledge so um, moving towards um, Dr. Raghu, who is Board of Trustee for API and uh, Vice Chair uh, for this upcoming convention. And you have also ser served API in several other important positions. Uh, talk to me about the special focus uh, this year and uh, uh, anything uh, that you find is uh, particularly exciting for you uh, related to this convention. Uh, first of all, I thank uh, ITV giving us uh, this opportunity. And uh, thank you, uh, Dr. Parikh, and also Mr. West. So uh, I have to divide the two topics in this one. I won't take too much time. What API is, API has, is uh, one of the largest uh, organizations in the uh, USA, the physician side. And this is the second largest uh, physician organization after American Medical Association. So that's very, very proud to say that. And we serve almost like 100,000 physicians uh, in USA, Indian origin physicians. So this year is a special year for us, happy. And uh, because of uh, this, uh, the COVID, uh, the pandemic, API took uh, several, several steps to help the community. That is one of the API's goal uh, on top of uh, what uh, we do cultural uh, get togethers and all. So this year, I'm very, very proud. API is very proud to say that we collected almost $5 million, uh, dollars of, uh, $5 million from 
different uh, organizations and uh, our uh, members and we we could send thousands thousands of uh, uh, oxygen concentrators and uh, uh, flow meters and uh, ventilators so which is really really well used in us in in india and uh, we're proud of that and also rbe is very big in uh, in uh, education and uh, especially that Sudhakar, very eminent uh, leader of this year and he conducted so many several more than 30 cme educations to the members that is another things and we are very proud that rp's uh, physician dr sudhakar has received uh, the most prestigious award uh, pravas bharati from our uh, indian president that's very proud for rp also and for dr sudhakar and regarding our rp convention uh, this is rp convention is a very huge project every year and uh, for different reasons, because of the COVID problem, we had to change the venue to uh, Atlanta just about 10, 12 weeks ago, believe it or not. Usually it takes for us just at least to work for this, towards this convention, at least six months. But we have a great team, uh, that is our Georgia team, is very proud and we are close to making this uh, convention as a success. And uh, so in this convention, we have excellent CMEs and uh, Dr. Ma Janlagad already mentioned uh, about our women's forum and we have CEO forum and, uh, uh, and also fantastic uh, uh, the uh, entertainment package uh, throughout all three days, all evenings. So, Whoever uh, watches this uh, this uh, part of the program, please do register to RP Convention. Very, very nice. And as we conclude our conversation, I would request each one of you uh, here in 30 seconds or a minute, uh, something that comes to your mind, either uh, which you received as a compliment from one of your patients, and that would also tell us about the way Indian American physicians are respected as well as uh, they are making significant contribution uh, in this uh, great nation. So I would like to be begin with you, Chanmaji, any one uh, instance uh, that comes to your mind uh, about your interaction with any patient? Uh, that's a hard question, but you know, I'll say this, I'm a pediatrician. And so I've been in practice for 25 years. And I think the most rewarding thing is when you see your patients have their children and they bring their, their children to see you. So I think that's the most rewarding thing in my practice where I see generations of children come, come back to me over and over again. And that just shows how much of a, a difference we're making in their lives because we are touching them and their children and sometimes their grandchildren as well. Wonderful. Uh, uh, Padushi, Dr. Sudhir Parikh, very um, important question for you. The young Indian American physicians, why should they consider uh, becoming a part of an organization like API? Because uh, we need um, more young Indian American doctors also to become active in such organizations. <clears throat> but because the organization like API is really a voice for the, all the physicians, for their concern, their uh, uh, issues as well as uh, networking. And therefore I think, uh, and, and uh, CME and education too. So as a, as a physician, we all should join the API and particularly our young generation, we should promote them and we can encourage them to join the API. And uh, uh, an API should be, become more known to the even globally uh, with the help of, uh, with, with the association with the uh, GAPIO, Global Physician of Indian Origin, which, uh, which we are almost 1.4 million people, uh, the physicians in uh, outside India. And uh, so it's very important for young generation uh, to be part of the API and become a, uh, uh, active in the API. And, and that's the only way to continue the growth of the API, which really a, is a voice for the, all the physicians' concern and issues and, and uh, education. Absolutely. Thank you very much for uh, those uh, words full of wisdom backed by your experience. And uh, 
Dr. Shyamla, uh, when you are also looking at uh, the women's forum, and many times we don't talk about it, but there is gender uh, discrimination <clears throat> in almost all the spheres uh, of society. If any female physician have faced or faces uh, some awkward situation at her workplace, what would be your advice to her? I, uh, to start with my experience as a solo practice, I don't come across, I hardly work with a group. Um, so I am the independent decision maker. And in our kind of physician community, I don't know how much is that kind of treatment we would come across. Um, I think we are bold enough, um, you know, courageous enough to come forth and avoid such situations, not getting into that kind of uh, this thing. I think we are wise enough. If you get the signs or anything, that kind of this thing coming up, we would be wise enough. Very good, very good. I appreciate that uh, that sort of a confidence is needed. And um, very quickly, uh, Dr. Uma uh, Maheshwari uh, ji, I would request you to share any interaction where your and Dr. Sudhakar's uh, conversation focused on API convention uh, resulted into something which has stayed with you. Positive, negative, either way. <laughs> either way. <laughs> Um, regarding the, the convention, uh, positive way, he always uh, encouraged me, you know, to get involved with the convention. And uh, he supported me in taking the chair position for the Women's Forum. And uh, so he always encouraged women in his convention, even in his committee. He included to be the females. Really? So that's a good thing about Sudhakar. In, you know, it's almost uh, given an uh, equal, um, you know, gender, you know, in the, you know, in the representation, in the yeah. committee. Yeah. And uh, uh, the other flip side is, uh, I always accompany him before, you know, you know, as he's being the leader, I always, as a wife, accompanied him. I started realizing now, See, that's why I started joining in GAPI, you know, in order for me to achieve something. So that's what the flip side that made me to go, which is useful for me and I identity, I should have my own identity. That's, uh, uh, that made me proud of it. And, and also he encourages me to be. Very good, very good. And I won't complain that much at home. So, a leader, you know, I I has to take care. Of so thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Now I understand why. So I, I will stop complaining. <laughs> Wonderful words of uh, profound wisdom uh, with practical aspect related to how you can convert something which uh, appears to be challenging uh, for improving yourself or for. Uh, uh, discovering your inner strength. And um, as we move toward the concluding part, I would request Dr. Raghu uh, Lola Bhattuji uh, to share his special feelings. Um, and sometimes when a big event is uh, very nearby, there is, I wouldn't say a sense of nervousness, but there are some special concerns. If there is anything that you want to share. Uh, thank you, Mr. West. See, uh, I told you before, we, we have a great team in uh, Georgia. Within 10 weeks, we, we put everything together. So honestly, we're not tensed up at all. We are all set. Can you believe it? Yeah. Even one week before, one week, 10 days before, we all set everything. Last night I was talking to Sudhakar, our president. He was so happy that, oh God, we're done. Can you believe it? And that's, uh, so he, we are ready. We are ready. And it's all because of our team. And uh, I would say we are pros in this, uh, in this uh, the, uh, uh, the uh, regard. And uh, yes, we are ready. Actually, of course, you know, any of this, uh, the big 
uh, events, they always last minute things up there, you know. But we all prepared. Who are everybody here on the screen? Is they all did several conventions local. Of course, we did a national convention before too. So we know what we have to look for and what are the problems we might face it, and we all prepare for that. So that's the greatness of this uh, team. Very, very good. So thank you very much, uh, Dr. Chandna, Dr. Shamla, uh, Dr. Uma Mahesh, Jonal Gaddaji, uh, Dr. Raghu Lola Bhattuji, and uh, we uh, are seeing the presence of um, Padmashi Dr. Suri Parik on the screen, uh, but thanks to him also for being a part of this conversation with lots and lots of good wishes uh, for um, uh, all team members who are passionately working towards um, offering uh, this special event, not just for uh, the RP members, but I trust uh, with several, several um, service-oriented projects for here as well as for India, RP plays a significant role and uh, wishing great success uh, for this upcoming convention. So thank you all thank of you. them. Thank you. Thank you. As well as uh, thanking uh, all our viewers for being a part of this conversation. This is Ashok Vyas. Namaste. Thank you. Thank you. Namaste.